Yes, he will. Come back behind you. I'm going to get on my shins. Ready for it. Have you cup your feet around my butt here and get your shins around the straps of my back. Try to avoid the spine. And what do you do with your hands? Um, you can place your hand on my shoulders, or okay. if it gives you more balance, bring them on the ground to the side of me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For me, this feels like really nice, nice pressure on the lower back. Um, I'll be here for a sec. I like how you're cupping your feet behind my butt. It gives you some support from falling forward. Okay. And then slowly I'm going to bring my hand in underneath my shoulders. And then slowly I'll extend up into a table position. Do I move to not fall back? Um, this, this have you bring your um, shins in towards my spine a little more. There you are in the meat. Kind of the... the, the the muscle strips in my back there. Okay. Now as I look up, I'm slowly gonna find my balance. I'm trying to keep as horizontal as possible because it's easier for him to balance. As I slowly come up, I can slowly bring my hands back around my waist and I'll have Jason do the same when he feels comfortable. I feel like I'm slipping. You haven't moved, Jim. You know, I've moved very subtly. <laughs> Yeah, go Jason, look at that. Your hands back on my shoulders. And we can just knock down. And try that safely. Just try that on this position first. Here, then just find that balance and go back there. And then slowly you can push up. And then once you're feeling really comfortable, you plant your feet. And then you can come up to a standing position. Be a bird like that. Balls. Anything falls is that fall forward. That's why you had your hands on my shoulders. If you fall back on your feet, like you said, I'm slipping. Not too bad because you land on your feet back here. But watch for the falling forward. Okay, side to side. Side to side, not not too often. 